Hi guys, welcome back to the Life 2D Cubism 2.1 feature preview video, part 2, PSD integration. Chapter 4, modify and update PSD anytime. This is one of Life 2D Cubism 2.1 main feature. It allows you to modify or add new object via PSD file. In older version of Life 2D, if you want to, uh, for example, change the color of this headband into red color, all we can do is open the texture list, export this texture map into the PNG, edit it, and put it again. But it becomes one single flattened PNG layer. But in this version, Life 2D maintain the PSD file you have import. Let's change the headband color into red color. Okay, open the, the PSD file. Oops, choose the headband. Okay, so headband and red color. Fill it. So press save. Okay, PSD import. And import this Unity Chan. Just Unity Chan, the PSD file. Uh, but these two new options I will explain if we put a new object into our model. So for the change color, I just use the first one. Okay, see? Color is changed. Press OK. See the cubism maintain the PSD file. How about if I made a new object or a new layer? For example, these glasses. Okay, press save. File. PSD import. Just this one. Okay, just now we add a uh, glasses, right? A new layer on a new object into this model. So these are two options, insert new layer into new texture with existing layer with layout maintenance. It means uh, when you import a model, basically a Life2D will make that new model, I mean like a new object into one single texture map. So the current map plus the new map. So it will be two new texture map. And the second is reposition all layers freely. It means Life2D will put the new object into one texture map, but Life2D will try to rearrange to fit into the one texture map. Okay, let's see the, the second one. You can see, it's glasses here. It's one single PSD file, I mean one single texture map. And the another one, PSD import. Is that new? Okay. Okay. As you can see, it's a new texture map. Okay, press OK. And the glasses. Okay, this is the glasses. See, there's a two texture map now. What exactly the difference between these two options? Okay, the first one is the second one. The original texture, reposition, right? See, it's the head, reposition, and this body, see here, uh, the glasses we had before, reposition all layer textures. And the other one is add a new texture without layout, layout maintenance. See, the head here the same like this is maintained but add new layer yeah that's it for modify and update PSD anytime chapter 5 reposition texture and maintain quality in the previous video we add a new object uh, into this model these glasses right if you texture list we have to a texture and now in this cubism 2.1 we can reposition texture it's a new feature yeah, so this is the, the texture for example I have to take this glasses in put into here okay open the click and here and you can move rotate I can 180 degree and put like this 
Oops. Oh, anyway, this texture repositing is auto cut and paste. So you must click outside. Okay, and then delete texture. Then become one. Press OK. Now, see this one big texture. And we can separate the model as well. If you want to make a separate a lot of layer, for, it, for example, a texture. Yes. And like I want to change the, the hair. I want to put hair into one new texture map here. Okay, add texture again. See the hair is gone for a body. Like this. Yeah, you can scale it, you can rotate. Like the angle like fifty degrees something. And press OK. See, now we have uh, three separate layer. Yeah, that's it for reposition texture and maintain quality. Chapter six, part of masking or clipping mask. If you're familiar with Photoshop masking or clipping mask, the clipping mask. This. Now, Live Two D Cubism Two Point One have a similar feature. This is a top mask. This is the bottom target. You see the uh, clip ID here. Okay, yeah, uh, just copy the ID and paste it and enter. And you can see masking the clipping mask. Okay. Let's go to the real project. This feature is very useful for hidden the area. For example, the eye. In the previous version, we must make a extra polygon to cover the eye when the eye is closed. But in this version, we have a masking for it. About this one. This is the mask. See, okay. If I shoot the eye close, I close like this. You can see this is the masking. And this, see the clip ID. Is for the DPSD fifty eight. Fifty eight, where's we say? Ah, this one. PSD fifty eight. Yeah, that is for power of masking or clipping mask. That's all for the part two. If you guys have any question, please put a comment below. See you later.